channel today we're gonna be making cookies I'm so excited I have three recipes to share with you guys two of them are from Pinterest and then one of them is Mimi icons cookie recipe my mom actually sent me a text this morning and was like have you seen Mimi's cookies you need to make them so that is going to be the third cookie recipe in today's video I love sweets but I always try to find healthy alternatives and this and that. So, the first ones I'm gonna make are avocado cookies. Guys, I've made avocado pudding before and wanted to die, it was so bad. Healthy avocado chocolate cookies. First things first though, preheat your oven to 350 I think. We'll, we'll triple check, but it's set to 350 right now. So you are going to need three quarters of a cup avocado flesh, which can we just call it avocado? Also, I don't know how much is a quarter of a cup. It doesn't say on here. Two thirds, one third. Shouldn't I know this? Half of a cup of coconut sugar, which I've actually never baked with coconut sugar before, and the bag broke. We're obviously gonna measure this out, but coconut sugar. You are going to need one egg, half of a cup of dark cacao powder, 50 grams of dark chocolate. Recipe calls for 85%. And, oh, I got 85%, didn't even realize. And then last thing is baking soda. Here we go. I bought two avos in case one was bad, because don't you hate when you cut open an avocado? And they're bad. I'm not using a cutting board, but I'm not touching the knife to the counter, so we're good. Ta-da, perfect avocado, yay. I'm so dumb. There's not a measuring thing on this big boy right here. Four cups. I mean it is, but like, you know what I mean. Okay. I've never done a recipe video like this where I chat with you guys along the way. Let me know if you like the format or what you think. One and done. No, just kidding. Guys, I'm so scared for this recipe. Avocado and dessert. I don't know. I have not had pudding that doesn't taste like avocado. Like my mom. Hi mom. Love you. All right, two. She was telling me about her avocado pudding one time, saying how she couldn't taste the avo at all. No, you can taste the avocado. Ew. Glad I got two. I thought I would only need one. Like I said, this was spilling everywhere, so I'm kind of nervous about it. The recipe also said that you could use honey instead of coconut sugar. Oh no! Oh! It was spilling the whole time. Ah! <gasps> Whoa, that's so sweet. Yum. Do, 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 do. Come on. You can do it. Okay, maybe not. Mix together the avocado and the coconut sugar. I'm not gonna lie. I'm still pretty terrified about these cookies. But I wanted to give it a shot. Hopefully, some of you guys are curious if avocado is good in dessert. I can be the one to test it out. This looks like poop. This looks so bad. I hope this cacao turns it like dark chocolate because this just looks like the grossest brown I've ever seen in my entire life. Let me grab a whisk. BRB. Maybe this will do better. There's the concoction for ya. Yuck. Add in the egg. Oh, spill half the egg out of the bowl while you're at it. And if you don't want to use eggs, you can totally use egg substitute. I don't know why I'm telling you guys that. I feel like if any of you guys are vegan, you would already know <laughs> to use an egg substitute. Okay. Mmm, yum. I almost want to just do like really big chunks. We really like chocolate, so I think we should just use all of this. Oh, yes. Dark Blackout from Alter Ego. Eco. Organic chocolate, bittersweet cacao. Mmm. And the higher the percentage of the cacao, the better it is. So I'm just breaking up tiny chunks. This is some really light batter. Like, not cookie batter. Why am I wearing white? Like, 
Someone tell me, this is so dumb. We weren't supposed to add flour, right? No. Time for the cookie sheet. <laughs> oh, I really don't know how to shape cookies. I'm gonna pop these in the oven for 10 minutes, hoping they don't expand <laughs> that much because I didn't really give them that much room to expand. Okay. First batch in the oven. Um, guys, I forgot to put baking soda. Dang it! What do I do? <laughs> Why did I forget to do that? They're like already melting. Redo. Talk about a fail and a half. Okay, this is gonna go from like eight cookies to two cookies. Cause look it, all of it is stuck on this stupid parchment paper. Ah! Let's just give up on this video. No, we can make the best out of it. Here goes nothing. Okay, on to recipe two. I had to fix my ponytail cause it was pretty low beforehand. I don't walk the low pony very well. This cookie recipe is Mimi Icons. If you don't know who Mimi Icon is, she is a YouTuber on here. I will link her stuff below. I'll link all the recipes below. But I'm excited about this. Cashew butter cookies. Ingredients are super simple. You're gonna need cashew butter, coconut sugar. I am using um, chocolate chips. You can use raisins if you want, but I'm just gonna use a little bit of chocolate chips baking soda, two eggs, and last but not least, salt. Ooh, this is gonna be so good. Wow, they didn't even fill this container up all the way. They just filled it like halfway. That's cheating, hello. It's like a bag of chips. Come on, I want the whole thing, not half. Cashew butter is so expensive. This was $15. This little jar, okay. Mmm. I'd say five more minutes on those. Next is coconut sugar. Wow, coconut sugar is the star of today's episode. Two eggs, and I didn't spill any. <laughs> Yay me. Not forgetting the baking soda today, guys. That much, maybe? Calls for salt, and again, who measures salt? Not me. Let's check on these cookies real quick. They look so pretty, though. Wow, I'm like really excited about these. I just put them over there to cool, and now it's time to try these. This looks like caramel. So yum. Ah, no, bad time. Excuse me, oven. They're extremely runny. Oh, wow, these are really runny. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit to make them cute. All right, there's the first one. Oh. This next recipe I'm super excited about is an almond butter oatmeal chocolate chip cookie. How good does that sound? I love almond butter, I love oatmeal cookies, and I love chocolate chip cookies. So mixing them all together is just gonna be so good. For the dry ingredients, you're gonna need oat flour. The recipe calls for gluten-free, but I didn't see gluten-free oat flour, so I just got oat flour, rolled oats, coconut, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. And as for the wet ingredients, you are going to need maple syrup, almond butter, of course, coconut oil, vanilla, chocolate chips, and coconut sugar. In a large bowl, whisk together the dry ingredients. Oh, the oven was off. I'm just gonna give up. They're literally just pancakes. Do you think one recipe can go smoothly? I don't know, because we can't even open up this oat bag. Think positive. This is going to go great. In you go. I don't like measuring coconut. I just like to eyeball it. So, I like a good handful. Especially in cookies. Coconut shavings are the best. Two handfuls. You're supposed to be like really exact. But I don't have time for that. Three fourths of a teaspoon baking powder. This is probably why my cookies don't come out good because because I don't measure things. You have to melt coconut oil. This is pretty melted, but I'm gonna do it for like four seconds. Oh, maybe a little bit more. Perfect. 
come to me. Nut butters are coming through today. Coconut oil. Oh, I just gleeked. Quarter cup maple syrup. The, the lid was like completely open, that's cool. This calls for two flax eggs, but I'm just gonna use normal eggs and I hope that doesn't mess anything up. One teaspoon of vanilla, but again, we don't measure here. Toot. We're adding chocolate chips, but not too many. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Pouring the wet to the dry. Mm -mm -mm. Look at- <laughs> Oops. I was gonna say, look at this concoction. So beautiful. Yes. Grab the big sheets. Look at these babies. Into the oven they go. All right, guys. It's now time to clean up my mess. Um, this is so good. Except there's raw egg in it, I think. And then we will taste all the cookies, and I'll let you know what I think. All right, I'm gonna try Mimi's first. They came out pretty thin, but they aren't as bad as I anticipated. So here we go. Oh, I feel like I did something wrong. I didn't cook them long enough, I don't think. They're very chewy. I don't know. I love the edges where they're crunchy. I think that's just where I went wrong. Okay, to the avocado. I popped these in the fridge also. The recipe said they're best if they're completely cold, which, yeah, I don't want warm avocado. Okay, that's not that bad. The texture is so nice. It's like a mousse. You cannot taste the avocado though. I can't decide. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Okay, now on to the last one. Oh. The oatmeal. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. This is the best one. So good. That's just because I'm like a diehard fan of oatmeal. I forgot this was cashew butter. I don't know how I feel about cashew butter. I definitely like the, the almond better. I just realized this drawer is open in the back. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this cooking video. I've never done anything like it, so let me know in the comments below what you guys think um, of the format and stuff, if, if you would like to see more. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, please do so. That would make my day. And yeah, I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!